New Mexico still has a long road to economic recovery, including adding back all the jobs lost during the pandemic. But there's one area taxpayers are exceeding expectations, and that's spending. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Well, in-state retail sales dropped nearly 10% in the early months of the pandemic compared to 2019. A huge infusion of federal dollars from stimulus checks and weekly unemployment bonuses was spent in New Mexico through online shopping. Despite high unemployment and businesses operating at limited capacity, retail spending actually increased during the pandemic. So the growth in online sales completely offset any declines in in-person retail spending. Compared to last year, the state says all retail spending was up 11% for April, May and June. Now, economists estimate that personal income increased about $9 billion between April and June in New Mexico due to all of that extra federal cash being doled out. Economists presented the latest revenue forecast to the Legislative Finance Committee this morning. The total economic picture is pretty rough, though. Just one third of jobs lost in the COVID pandemic have come back in New Mexico so far, much lower than other states. And the state estimates that that will only increase to about a half of lost jobs rehired by the end of the year in New Mexico. But House Finance Chair Patty Lundstrom says she doesn't foresee any major cuts in this current budget year, in part because of better than expected consumer spending. It did surprise me and I think we did a good job with that House Bill 6. I think that uh, if we hadn't done that, that would have been a tremendous loss in revenue to our state. Now that House Bill 6 Lundstrom mentioned, it passed in 2019. It charges a flat, roughly 5% tax on all internet sales. Next year, local governments will also be allowed to add their own local sales tax on top of those online purchases as well. The latest estimates say it might not be until 2025 before New Mexico reaches its pre-pandemic economic levels. Back to you. Okay, Chris, with current revenues, the state is also anticipating it should be able to return to 25% reserves by next summer after dipping into those funds to help the ba help balance the last budget.